Hey Collective, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what the overall message is for this reading. Goddess, Ancestor, Spiritual Team, what is the overall message for this collective? What's the overall message? Okay, something about your job, maybe, uh, or someone's feeling imprisoned when it comes to their job because there's a lot of worries or fears. Someone that you could have had a relationship with, because I did see marriage, or this person could be married. I'm hearing that the relationship could be falling apart, especially because they're having financial issues. Tell me more. Same cards just came out that I was seeing. For the most part. Yeah, someone that you guys used to date. For some of you guys, this could be like a business partnership even. Maybe you and this person you used to date, you guys had a business together. Or there was just a lot of business proposals. Yeah, this person was trying to take from you guys and cause you despair. Especially after ending things with you guys or causing issues from you. Like they're trying to take either the business or the money. But like I said, something with, with the job. And they weren't able to take that away. Because they knew that whatever this occupation of yours it was lucrative it was lucrative and they knew that in the long run because of the amount of time and energy that you're investing into it that it would lead you to sudden wealth they knew that and so they're like oh well let me try to take this before you know they get this because like i need this money for myself and i don't really care for this person i'm just trying to date them because i want money from them so i'm just going to work with them as a business partner for a little bit and then like once they get to a certain point i'm going to see about getting everything put in my name and i'm gonna steal all their money like i'm seeing something like that wow that's effed up All right, spirit. Why though? Like, what? Like, why were they doing this? Besides the obvious, they also wanted to cause an imbalance for you when it came to love as well. They didn't want you to find love. Yeah, it has to do with the thing I was talking about: money, power, social status, fame, your career. Um, they thought that if they could take that from you, that would put them on top. And it's weird because this person that you were dating put you in competition. It's like they were, they felt threatened and felt insecure because of the amount of money that you made or the amount of money that they knew that you were going to make. It's like, they were already like in competition with you and trying to take from you when you're not even at your peak. Like they see the potential for it, but they're like, oh, well, I don't want to make it where they reach it there. So let me figure out a way to sabotage this now so they can't have it. And for some of you guys, like this job, it could be something that has made you famous or, you know, you could be well known for what it is that you do. For others, it's just you're well known, like in your community or just at your job, whether it's like a nine to five or like you're an entrepreneur. But regardless, um, for some of you guys, as I did see this earlier. This is someone that you just worked with at a job and they saw that you were, you were moving high, like up higher on the pole than they were or they knew that you had the potential to do that. This person could have even been at the position for much longer than you and they're trying to take that from you guys. And so they had ulterior motives with trying to get close to you and they tried to use uh, romantic illusions to bring you guys closer so they could be able to take from you. Even if that meant like sabotaging you. Um, like through lies, um, through taking credit for something that it is that you did. So that way they can move up. I'm just seeing something like that. Oh, man. Yeah, this person was really trying to cause imbalances, but it's like you guys know how to transmute. So it's like you transmuted this energy that this person was trying to put you in. They were trying to get you, bait you into a fight too with like Mars right here being in reverse, Scorpio and Aries. We also got Capricorn out here, Gemini and Sagittarius. But it's like they wanted you to act on aggression. This person's also mad because they can't use you for coitus. Like they want to be able to have coitus with you. I don't feel like you guys ever had coitus with this person because you figured out that they were moving weird. They were moving shifty. And so you figured out the truth about this person. I'm going to put this over here. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. Your job, because I just saw something that t uh, ties into this, your job might be tied into like being like a public speaker or something where you're speaking or writing. Um, 
And it's something with the way that you convey your thoughts. This person could have been trying to take those ideas and trying to pass them off as their own. To act like they came up with the idea or that they think that way, even though they don't have the same thought process as you. I'm hearing they don't have enough knowledge or wisdom to even understand the concepts you talk about anyway. But they thought that, wow, for some of you guys, if they wanted, they, they thought that if they could try to be like you, maybe they could take from you or take your spot. So it's like something with like mimicry in terms of like your energy. I don't sense like full on like black magic for this, but it's just like, you know, them trying to mimic your energy, trying to copy you, but then also trying to belittle you out of the process. So that way you step down from your position or what you're doing. We have healer. Yeah, you guys are a healer. You have a passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Some of you guys could be energy healers. You have ability to help transform payment to healing. I'm also seeing another form of healing like Ayurvedic. Um, you could be a doctor, holistic medicine, a nurse, you know, those types of things. I'm just seeing like you could be tied, like the, your position is tied to healing other people or helping them to heal their body, mind, and spirit. And it's like this person doesn't like how influential you are and the fact that you're able to do this. And so they're trying to put a block on this i'm hearing like stopping the cog and the will so that way you couldn't keep moving forward so definitely um i'm seeing cancer with the chariot trying to cause delays for you and obstacles that you could they felt that you couldn't overcome or kept trying to put blockades in your path so that way you had it would take you slower to actually reach your goal because they know what you're going to end up being because they saw the potential for it it's almost like they got a vision or they were able to foresee it and so they're like oh no i need to like put this person down and stop them from this but also take it for myself but that didn't work. They weren't able to take from you guys. Yeah, you have the ability to be able to help transform pain into healing. You guys are alchemists. But this person was is someone who takes advantage of those who need help. And they're, they're some, this is someone who doesn't know how to take care of themselves. It also says failing to take care for oneself. <sighs> Hero, heroine. You guys have a passion for a journey of personal empowerment. And this person knows that. And they're like, fuck, I got to find some other type of way to stop them. And it's like this person was willing to do anything just to, to stop you. Even if it meant, wow, for some of you guys, even if it meant uh, you unaliving, like being unalived. That's really, wow, this person's very insecure to be thinking at that level where it's like, oh, well, I'm so bothered by this person and I don't want them to succeed. I gotta, I want them to be unalive so that way I can keep going. Like, that's weird. You need to go get some psychological help. You shouldn't be thinking about people like that. Like, that's not normal. You know how that whole saying is where they, you know, where you go and you get like an intake or whatever. And, you know, whether you're trying to find like a psychiatrist or therapist and they tell you, oh, have you ever had the thought of harming other people? That's definitely this person. But they would sit there and lie about it, even though they do think about hurting people just to be able to get on top or to, to get fame or power. This person's power hungry. Um, this person could possibly be a Capricorn, but it also could be a thing where it's like obsessive uh, tendencies. But it's like you had to be very diplomatic with this person or this person likes to try to play like they're diplomatic or act like they have their shit together. But really, they really don't. And they're always trying to mock and make fun of other people and talk crap behind their back and spread lies about them so that way it ruins their reputation so that way people don't take them seriously or don't believe in them or don't trust them or even believe that they actually can do something or they have or that they are the person who has the skills or capabilities to actually do said role or position it's really gross this person's done this since they're a kid because that's what they're used to but it's all tying back into insecurity <sighs> Okay, so this person that has a form has issues with escapism. Okay, they also run from their issues. They run from their problems. I'm here, run for the hills. Like they will hop on a horse and run the f away. But they have a false sense of heroism because they try to act like, oh, well, I'm actually healing, gonna help heal this person or help them. But really, no, they're just trying to take advantage of that person so that way they can be able to get to that next level that they're trying to get to. This person wants fame and power very, very much. Or it's a thing with career where it's like they want to make a certain amount of money, but they feel that in order to be able to reach that milestone, they have to tear other people down to get to it. It's reminding me of that imagery where you see all those people sitting there and like you see someone on their like, you know, jumping on their heads with their feet, trying to climb up like that 
um, not a mountain, but that's another good analogy too, but like trying to climb up the stairs to get to that next level. But it's like they have to over jump on other people to get there, even though there's this line. But it's like they're trying to cut in front of the line, even though they don't belong there because they haven't done the work to actually sustain that energy or to be there. Let's get more information. Queen, read it. Yeah. Y'all got that divine feminine energy. I do not care what your gender is. You have that divine feminine energy, okay? Radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. You're a protector as well. You're a mama bear <laughs> to other people. And I feel like this person was trying to take advantage of that when it came to you guys because you guys are a giver. So it's like they thought, oh, like what I was mentioning earlier, oh, if I could just get into their good graces and then create this romantic illusion and like build like a close bond with them, you know, maybe I can get them to let their walls down and they'll give to me. And some of you guys, you did give to this person for a little bit, but then you woke up because you started seeing the truth of everything because those downloads that you receive from spirit. And then you realize, oh, it might be time to cut ties with this person. Let me uh, distance myself. Some of you guys, like you said something, but for others, I'm seeing like you didn't say anything. You just straight up like left because you were being called to because you knew that the, this person was moving shifty. You knew that they weren't wow, protective of you is what I'm hearing also. But this person didn't have the best motives when it came to you guys. They had ulterior motives and you guys knew that. So you moved away. Some of you guys, it's just a thing you, you received it in, through divination. And I'm also seeing, okay, so I'm not trying to like snitch on y'all, but some of y'all use truth spells. I'm seeing that as well. But for others, uh, I'm seeing like dreams, like you receive messages in your dreams about this person. Um, this person they become arrogant whenever their authority is challenged. And I feel like they try to do that with you guys. And it's because this person has issues with power dynamics because they feel so inferior to other people. They don't have a lot of belief in themselves and they don't have any strength. So it's like they feel like, oh, I need to bully this person and tear them down to, 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 to seem like I'm so big and bad and powerful. And it's like, no, you're not big, bad and powerful. You're weak. There's that saying, the loudest in the room. They think that they're most strongest, but really they're not. People who are like cocky like that are the weakest. The ones who are silent, those are the ones that you have to look out for, really, because they're observant and they hold many secrets, kind of similarly to the high priestess, which you guys are. You're a high priest, high priestess, but I'm also getting hierophant energy from you guys. And this person didn't know that about you, so they thought that they could play you, but you see through everything and everyone you get the download and then you move so if you get that download where spirit's saying hey don't trust this person this person's a piece of crap like they're doing this this and this behind your back you're like all right cool uh you don't have to say anything else to me i'll go ahead and listen let me go ahead and move away from this person like y'all know and it's because of things that you've already experienced in the past like you know not to ignore your intuition you're always going to follow it because you're like okay with what i went through in my past i'm not about to let myself go through this again because i'm not about to create another karmic lesson for myself that i've already overcame so um instead of getting stuck in this person's web let's go ahead and move on from this um but this person yeah they get arrogant because they feel like you challenge their authority, but it's really a thing where it's like your energy because you also like, yes, you're very regal, but you also have like a masculine energy as well. And it's like this person's threatened by that because they have a wounded masculine. You know what I'm saying? That's why they feel like they have to overpower other people. Um, we also have controlling and demanding, like I was just saying. Let me move this up here. Let me get like one more card. Gambler. I knew I was going to see this come out. Willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. That's what you do. This person wanted you to doubt your intuition. They could have tried to gaslight you too, saying, oh, well, I'm not actually like this, this, and this. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a really sweet person and I care about you and da, da, da. You're like, yeah, yeah you're full of crap. My intuition's telling me that I shouldn't trust you. I'm gonna listen to my intuition because like the thing, again, the situations I went through in the past, I'm not about to go through that again. So I know when my intuition's saying, hey, don't trust that person. I know to uh, he take heed to that and listen and pay pay very close attention to what is being said and what I need to know because uh -huh, no uh this is a gamble I knew this was a gamble and you knew that it would be a gamble also to keep this person in your life too so that's why you cut ties also um this person relies on luck rather than hard work so they don't like put in the work like I was saying earlier they don't put in any work they don't do any type of internal work they don't do any shadow work nothing like that and they don't realize that you're in the position that you are or where you're going because of the internal work that is that you do because you do shadow work, because you work on yourself, because you heal, because you alchemize, you know, all those things, you know, you have a certain level of self mastery. This person wants that, but it's like, they want to take it from you, but it's like, oh no, 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 sweetheart. You got to go through the work just like the collective did. 
You can't just sit there and take from somebody else. You need to go do the work too. And so they just rely on luck. They don't do any work. But they like to claim that the work that other people do is theirs, even though they don't do it. But the funny thing is when they claim and do that, some people will be keeping a watchful eye on them, observing them, and they'll realize that this person is a liar or a fraud or a poser because they say, oh, well, I could do this and this too, like, you know, like the collective, and then they'll go and do it. And they don't even have the expertise. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow. They don't have the expertise or the skills or even the knowledge or wisdom to be able to uphold such a position. They don't have the skills. And so due to that, like, people see real quick, oh, this person was lying. This person's full of crap. Wow, what a fraud. This person's fraudulent as hell. You know, it's just a thing like that. At the bottom of the deck, I knew I was going to see this. Y'all have a very, you guys are have, you have an intimate union with the divine, like with God. I'm going to say God and goddess, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, you have a union with goddess or God. <laughs> and this person, I feel like they're starting to kind of see that. And that's why I'm laughing is like, you're someone, you don't look like you're spiritual. People would never know because you're very observant, you're quiet, but it's like people can't figure you out. So it's like they will try to do things to try to test you or try to get you to put down your boundaries. That way you'll actually let them in. So that way they can be able to figure out like what your secrets are or your strengths or your flaws. That way they could be able to use, utilize that against you because a lot of them are looking from a place of the ego, whereas you're not like that. You're more balanced. You have like your light and your dark are balanced and this person thinks that they have a connection like with God or goddess, but they don't. They're very disconnected because like they only act from a place of ego. And so due to this, their intuition's blocked. But they like to claim, oh, well, see, you know, I'm close to, to spirit too. And I can do that too. But like I said, they'll be sitting there like looking crazy. Like it's like a fish in there like flapping itself like on the beach. And they need to be put back in the water because like they're out of their element. You feel me on that? Like, that's basically like how this person is. So they're thinking, oh, well, I could do that too. And it's like, they, if they're taking on something that's too big for their britches and they end up failing and looking ridiculous and goofy in front of people because the stuff that they do, trying to be like, oh, well, I could do that too. And I'm a, I'm a boss and da, da, da. like, look, look at me. But it's like also a thing too, where it's like this person needs a lot of like validation. They need a lot of like, <sighs> praise in order to do things so like that's the only reason why they'll also do things is because they're thinking about oh well how are people going to view me after how are they going to feel about me after how are they going to see me that's what they mainly care about is the external um <laughs> and so yeah there's something else i was going to say about that but i pretty i feel like y'all pretty much get the gist of that but i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tarot this person's ridiculous <laughs> Um, what else was this person trying to take from the collective? What else is this person trying to take from the collective? Yeah, your position, your money, your stability. Trying to get your uh, foundation imbalanced. Because I'm seeing the two of pentacles. Like they wanted to con like make it where you have to constantly juggle. But it's like you guys are good at alchemizing and balancing things. So they couldn't throw you off. And so even if they sit there and try to put you in a two of pentacles, you know how to fucking balance that unicycle, okay? <laughs> you know how to balance that shit. You can even sit there and be juggling as you're also on like the tightrope. And you're sitting there just going. And they're like, what the fuck? How do they do that? But then it's like they try to do that. They fucking fall off that shit and fucking crack their head open. Anyway... <laughs> I'm just laughing because the analogies, like the imagery is that, like the imagery is, oh, the imagery that spirit's showing me. But yeah, like this was illuminated to you guys. Like I said, though, like y'all already know. But the thing is with that illumination, other people are starting to see that too. So this person's reputation is becoming ruined. Someone has a bad reputation now. <laughs> What's going to be the outcome of them trying to steal from the collective and then trying to mess with the collective like this? What's the, what's the outcome? What is the outcome? Oh. Mm, boom. Dog diggity. Anyway, the truth is going to be coming out. Clarity. I'm hearing clarity ensues. Judgment. They're going to be judged because people are learning the truth about them. That's the outcome. Especially these people who were, were like collaborating with them or were friends with them. People are, are going to be kind of 
looking at them differently, being like, man, I was friends with this person. This person's a loser. I don't want to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah, people are going to be like these people who are friends with them. Like I said, they're going to be spending time introspecting and they're going to start like looking at things, like reflecting on things of the past that happened between them. Some of the things that they said and they're going to be like, wow, this person was doing everything they could to try to be on top. This person needs to um, change. Like they need to grow up. Like this person only cared about like fame or being viewed a certain way. Like this person was an attention whore. That's also how like this person was too. Remember how I said <laughs> the two of pentacles? Um, they're realizing like, and also like this, <laughs> so much is coming up. I'm sorry, y'all. <sighs> Let me slow down. Okay. So yeah, the, a transformation, like an ending to this is, has come. Okay, these people are not going to be able to cause people to look at you differently. People are going to be seeing you for how you really are. And actually, you're going to be recognized for your skills and talent. So for those of you where it's like you're about to like you were waiting for a certain promotion, that is underway. Okay, that it's on That's on its way to you. I'm also being shown in my mind's eye blessings on the way. So you do have blessings. And also some of you guys have like certain manifestations that you've been waiting for to come in that's coming in for you as well. So, you know, look out for that. But yeah, they couldn't cause an imbalance for you because the fact is you love yourself, you're confident in yourself, you're confident in your skills, you're confident in your talents. And so due to this, they can't knock you off your rocker. You're not acting from a place of insecurity. <laughs> you're secure in who you are. And if you do have fears and insecurities that come up for you, you alchemize that shit. Like when it comes up, you're like, all right, I'm fearful of doing this. All right, let me go do it anyway. And that's what you do. I remember how I said that you have blessings on the way with this three of wands. You've been waiting for this. This is coming in. You're going to be feeling completed, but also this is you feeling fulfilled. So yeah, this cycle is finally closing and all the things that you've been putting energy into, you know, waiting for your, your tree to fruit, like those manifestations, the things you invested in, this person's not going to be able to like compete with you anymore and try to cause issues for that or cough conflict or discord anymore. I'm here in discourse and you're going to be able to finally not have this person out of your energy and the hell away from you while you work on continuing mastering yourself, but also like your job. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a nine to five or your entrepreneur, You'll be able to have more time for this. And there's going to be some money-making opportunities or more opportunities coming in for you that you have always been wanting or desiring, especially the things that have been blocked off. Spirit's about to bring those things in. So keep a lookout for this, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to observe because you feel and sense that it's coming. Yes, you're sensing and feeling that for a reason. So definitely listen to that. Um, keep your boundaries up this person. I feel like a lot of you guys already know that, but Spirit just wants to give you a reminder. But also people are going to be seeing why you have boundaries up with this person because this person needs to heal themselves. Um, your money is about to be healed, especially your foundation. If you guys did have some issues with that, that's about to start flowing again as well. And good fortune is on your side. So, hey. And you remember how I was saying at the beginning, like with the potential for, cause a lot of you guys are like this job you're doing, it's to build your legacy. Like this could even be just be your life purpose, but this is to build a legacy that you want it for yourself or for your family, or do you just have that long-term financial stability? You're being able to get that. Yeah. This person tried to cause pain to a nurturer, someone who's empathic, intuitive, sweet, compassionate, but the painful ending is going to be happening for them now. And you guys are going to be coming into a new connection as well. And for some of you guys, it's not even that. Like, if you don't want that, it's just more so you're coming more into union and alignment with yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and end that there. If this resonates with you, feel free to like the video. Thank you guys so much for the likes, the shares, the comments, and the subscribes. And if, if you want to be notified whenever I post a new reading, then hit that bell icon. If you want to see more readings like this from me or just readings from me in general, then hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be able to book a Reiki healing session with me or a personal reading, then the information about that is in my description box. Please email me before booking. But until then, I hope that you guys have a good one and peace, you guys.